all and welcome. Oh God! Oh, hey, hello. Hey, hey, hey. Hello all and welcome to the wrap up for the week ending the thirty first of March, twenty eighteen. Happy Easter! Yay! I don't know about you guys, but whenever it hits Easter, I never feel like eating chocolate, and it's the worst predicament to be in because it's the one time it's acceptable for me to actually stuff my face full of chocolate without people thinking that I'm really unhealthy. Anyway, I hope you guys have had a great week this week. I know I have. It's been so much fun creating this video content for all of you. Um, I mean, unfortunately, there was a bit of delay between some of them, but nonetheless, I got everything out to you and that is exciting. All of the support that I've received so far has been absolutely amazing. I mean, some of the messages I've gotten uh, in some of the private messages on social media have been absolutely fantastic. So thank you all to those who are sending me those amazing messages. Also, the comments I've been receiving have been fantastic. So thank you all so much. Uh, for all of the support. It's been a lot of fun and I can't wait to continue on for the rest of the year and I can't wait to show you all the content that I have planned for the rest of the year. So yes, keep an eye out. It's all progressing. We're all on the right track for where I want to be by the end of the year. I mean, very long-term planning. So yeah, fingers crossed. Since it's Easter, I know that it's all public holidays and everything like that, but for people out there who are working on these public holidays, I'd like to say a big thank you to all of you. After working a lot of years in hospitality and retail, I know exactly how it feels to be away from family. But yes, thank you so much. I hope everyone's nice to you over this weekend, and I hope that all the customers are lovely, and that, yeah, the people that you're working with are lovely, and everybody who's going to places that are open on these public holidays, please be kind. Uh, because, you know, these people are, you know, away from their families or away from the people that they love on these days when we are lucky enough to be able to be with these people. So please be kind and make sure that everybody has a great weekend because we should all be happy. Anyway, let's crack on into this wrap up. So the review I was going to be doing was planned for Wednesday, but unfortunately when I came home after uni that day, I was absolutely exhausted. And I mean, it was a build up between all this hard work I've been doing for assignments and all this hard work I've been doing at work and coming home and I went to start writing up an assignment so that I could have it done by that night and I could not actually focus on the keyboard or on the screen and when I tried to type words, it just wasn't happening. Nothing was coherent, nothing was working and I thought, you know what? The book that I want to review deserves a really good one. So maybe I shouldn't sacrifice that for subpar content. Nonetheless, you would have seen yesterday the review for this lovely book. Woo! So this book is Finding Nevo, Finding Nevo. It's one of them. Uh, oh, it might not be either of them, actually. Um, I apologize to the author for absolutely destroying the name of this book. Uh, but yes, great book, and I would definitely recommend reading it. Uh, Nevo or Nevo season. Again, I apologize for bad pronunciation. Nonetheless, they have written an amazing book that gives us a new perspective on a whole range of social issues that people are facing um, and really the whole world is facing. So I would really recommend giving it a go. Uh, check out the review for it if you want to have some more information on it. So that link for it will either be in the description below if you're on YouTube and it will also be in the description on Tail Inferno, so give it a read. I definitely would recommend it. At least one of my vlogs this week came out on time and that was for communicative competency and language games. So those are concepts that I have learned in my linguistics class this semester and it really gives an idea of why we say what we're saying or when we're saying it and why it's appropriate for us to say certain things at certain times and the activities that that links to and yeah, it's really interesting and I think for storytellers out there, particularly if you're a fiction writer or, you know, any writer in general or any storyteller in general, it really helps with understanding how to write dialogue and how people react and, you know, just things like that. It's really helped me with those aspects of writing and, yeah, they seep into your mind and suddenly the whole world is different. <laughs> if you're interested in watching that vlog, again the link will be in the description either in YouTube land or Tail Inferno land, so give it a click. Then yesterday 
As well with the review, I brought out the vlog on Feature Writing 101. So that gives a very broad understanding on what feature writing is, how to do it, what's expected, the preparation versus how much it, like how much time it takes to write it, etc, etc. So if you're a journalist or you're a creative writer or if you're both and you want to find something that works with both of them, feature writing might be the thing that you're after. So I definitely recommend having a bit of a watch of that. Uh, so yeah, as well as the link to the linguistics blog that will be in the descriptions as well. So give that a watch too and hopefully you don't mind listening to me blubber on about feature writing. <laughs> this week I finished The Dead of the Night by John Marsden. Woo! Yes I did! So now I'm on to the third one so we can say goodbye to this one and say hello to this one. Woo! You can already see that with my little green bookmark. That. I've already started reading it. Uh, I was doing that last night while I was waiting for everything to upload onto both the blog and YouTube and everything like that. So started to crack onto this. I hope to have this done by the end of the weekend would be nice now that I have some time thanks to the holiday. But if not, I'll have it done by this week. Now, as you would have seen in the update, I am working through the Tomorrow series by John Marsden. But if you didn't watch the update, here is what's coming next for what I am reading and what to expect with reviews as well. So next is, do 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 do, darkness be my friend, ooh, and number five, burning for revenge, ooh, and number six, the night is for hunting, ooh, and last but not least, number seven, the other side of dawn. Ah, I know I am a little bit embarrassing for myself, my family, my friends, and anybody who knows me, you're probably sitting at home and thinking, God, this human being is the definition of cringe and embarrassment, and I know and I accept it. Let's kick on to it. So for the achievements this week, I did get all the content out that I planned, it's just that things were a little bit delayed, but... That was for a bunch of reasons. Um, my explanation on Thursday as well regarding the vlog and the review that I said I was going to be putting up on Thursday was the fact that the internet decided to crash on me and it was just not a good day. And, you know, I just, we won't talk about it. I think the internet just likes to play on my feelings every time I speak about it. So maybe I should be a little nicer to it. But yeah, I did end up getting all the content out and I'm really excited about how everybody has reacted to it so far. It's been a lot of fun, as I said, working on this video content as well as working on the written content on the side. And that's it for this week. I hope that you've all had great weeks. I hope that you all have a great Easter or at least you have a great weekend nonetheless. Make sure you try to ignite the story this week. We all have the story within us. We've all got books that we can read and there's always a story out there that will connect with us even if we're not sure that we're into it. I know that it's out there. You just have to find it. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and you've enjoyed everything else you've seen on YouTube so far. If you have, give this video a like and, you know, maybe subscribe while you're here. Make sure to like and follow on all of Tail Inferno's social media as well. So that includes Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Have a great week everyone. I'll see you next time. Ignite the story. Bye!